action on abortion rights exactly two weeks after the Supreme Court's conservative majority overturned Roe v. Wade. The president signed an executive order Friday protecting some abortion access for women. But Mr. Biden said his power is limited and urged abortion rights supporters to vote in November. This, as a judge in Louisiana, allowed that state's near total abortion ban to go into effect on Friday. Christina Ruffini is at the White House with more on the president's action. Christina, good morning. Good morning, Nancy. As you mentioned, the president said the best way to protect abortion rights is to vote in lawmakers who support them. In the meantime, the White House is doing what it can. Well, what we're witnessing wasn't a constitutional judgment. It was an exercise in raw political power. Standing in the Roosevelt Room, a sometimes visibly angry President Biden recounted the story of a 10-year-old girl who a report said was denied an abortion under her state's new laws. Rape, six weeks pregnant, already traumatized, was forced to travel to another state. Imagine being that little girl. The executive order signed yesterday offers new guidelines for protecting patient privacy, efforts to expand access to medical abortion, and directs agencies to take steps to ensure emergency medical care for pregnant women and those experiencing pregnancy loss. We cannot allow an out-of-control Supreme Court working in conjunction with extremist elements of the Republican Party to take away freedoms and our personal autonomy. But the power of the executive is limited. We will continue to look at all options on the table that are legally appropriate. The order does not offer additional privacy protections if states pass laws requiring medical providers to report suspected abortions. Would you recommend women stop using apps that track their health? The order also tasks the FTC with clarifying the privacy rules for using reproductive health apps like period trackers. I think people should be really careful about that. And what kind of data can or can't be handed over to law enforcement? One of the things that HHS did just last week was as part of this website and also made public practical instructions of how to delete certain apps um, that are on your phone um, so that if you want to protect yourself, you have the ability to do that. Now, another outstanding issue is the abortion pill. The FDA currently requires pharmacies that have it to have a special license. Now, the White House and the president can't direct the FDA to drop that. They can't direct the FDA to do anything. But they have asked the FDA to clarify the rules and regulations for distribution. Nancy. Christina, thank you.